Who's next? Let me show you, dear. What happened to the ball? Oh, it's on the fritz again. Stuck on some stupid dragon channel. Let's come into the 21st century and use the laptop. Who's that? Meet Dean Maxwell, a young up-and-coming actor and writer. He's had a bit of bad luck lately, and he could really use our help. Like Shakespeare. Oi, what a pain in the ass that was. Always with the, will I be remembered? How should I let this end? And he had the nerve to put us in his play, Macbeth. <laughs> with beards, the nerve. I'm so happy we put a curse on that play's name. <laughs> I miss the heroes. Remember Percy, yes. <sighs> we were more I back then. Remember? Ancient Greece was such an exciting place. Remember that idea you had in the 1800s to let people decide their own fate? Correct. Congratulations, Abe. Time for your final spin. Now, some of the futures hidden here on Fortuna's wheel are third term as president, vampire hunting, plus a few more surprises. Go ahead, Abe, give it a spin. And you have won two tickets to Ford's Theater to see our American cousin. I hope you and Mary enjoy it. I hear it's a great show. I had to stop it after that. Something similar caught on years later, though. Better prizes. You know, we haven't been to the theater in ages. Mm. That was about the time we met that young Mr. Carroll. And that girl. What was her name? Alice... Alice Little. Why he changed it to cake, I'll never know. And poor Dorothy. So lost and far from home. We got her back there eventually. Those red shoes, they were a nice touch. I think our suggestions made a world of difference. That Mr. Vaughn, he made us out to be a bad lot in his land of Oz. Wicked witch indeed. Well, I guess you shouldn't have dumped him like you did, huh? Hmm. What about Woodstock? I'm on your side. about the 60s. It was the mushrooms, I think. I like the 60s. We know. Okay, who gets this next project? I'll take him. Huh. Astrid, you had Perseus and you had the president. And you had young Mr. Carroll. I also got stuck with Mr. Baum. I need this one. I've got to wash the taste of Shakespeare out of my mouth. Fine. Have a look up. Can I get you anything? The usual? Yes, please. Why sit down, Dean? I don't know what to do. About what? That new project I was telling you about. I may have a backer for my script and, and they will let me act in it, but I would need to make a few concessions, some pretty big ones. I'm just not sure if I should go through with it. Fortuna audaces juvat. Pardon? It's Latin. It means fortune favors the bold. And? Go for it. Listen, I'll be right back. I have something for you. Here. There is a prize in every bag. I guarantee you when you're finished with it, You'll know what to do. Mono fortuna posono presidere. Another happy ending. I'm glad Fritz and his brother got their idea off the ground. Well, we did see that one coming, didn't we? <laughs> Buy me some peanuts and crack a <laughs> jacks. <laughs> Oh,
No, no, Astrid, no more 60s. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, okay, sheesh. Next is the U.S. presidential election. How do you want to handle this one? The old way. Tea leaves. them after Woodstock. And they're good with mushrooms too.